What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 11th Java Advanced tutorial. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to append data to a file. And by what I mean append, basically I'm going to be adding text every time I write something to the file. It'll be added to the end of the file instead of actually being overwritten. Um, so yeah, to do this it's quite a bit more complex and I know you guys probably won't get it right away but if you guys kind of look at it for long enough you'll probably be able to understand it um, you're gonna be calling a bunch you're gonna be creating a bunch of objects and each object is gonna be used as a parameter for the next um, so in the last tutorial we used print stream that did not let us append but in this tutorial we're gonna be using a different um, class in order to let us append um, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is once we have our file created, um, we're going to have to create a file writer object. Now the file writer object basically takes the parameter, well I'm going to show you in a sec, let me just type it out. So we're going to type out file writer and then we're going to call it writer is equal to new file writer. So the file writer takes two parameters, as I was saying. Um, basically, the first parameter is just the file that we created, the file object. So we could type in happy file. And then our next one will be true. It's going to take a Boolean. It's going to be true or false. And basically, this says, do we want to append? It would be true. And if we don't want to append to the file, it would be false. So right here, we're just going to go true. And of course, we need to add the class like always. And again, it's in the java.io package. So there's another class that we need to create an object out of. And this is called the buffered writer. Now, um, we need to create this one because there's one more object that we need to create after. And we can't actually just stick this file writer um, object into the one we want um, because it doesn't accept that type as a parameter. So we're going to have to create something else called a buffered writer. Now the buffered writer, we could just call it buffer, is equal to new buffered writer. Now the parameters for this is a lot less complex. Basically it just takes the parameter of a, a file writer. So we could just type in writer here. And again, like always, need to add the import called buffered writer. Now, um, don't worry, if you guys don't get this, I'm going to go over this step by step again at the end. Just bear with me. And we have one more. This is the last object, I promise, that we need to create. And this is going to be actually kind of like our print stream. But in this case, it's actually called a print writer. So print writer. And we could just call it writer is equal to new print writer. And this, again, takes the... Uh, parameter of a buffered writer um, so that's why so it print writer needs a parameter of buffered writer that's why we couldn't just put in our file writer object right away um, kind of wish they did then we don't have to create this other object but Java made it so we have to use um, buffered writer as a parameter so we could just type in here buffer and we're getting a little error could add the import and why do we have an error here? Writer is already defined, my bad. We could call it here. Let's rename this to file writer. And we can name this one to print writer. And we need to change this, don't we? And we need to change the file writer over here. Um, so sorry if that confused you. I just changed file writer, the file writer object, to the name of file writer. Uh, without a capital F, you can't use a capital F, and then I change that down here as well, and I change print writer um, to a name of print writer without a capital P. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start printing out our characters. So let me just erase my data. This was just a test that I was just making sure my program worked before I actually started this tutorial. I made a fool of myself. Um, so yeah first thing we're going to do is we're going to print out what we want. So let's go stream dot print hello world. 
So something basic. So once we run this, oh, stream, my bad. What did I type in stream? Print writer. So we're gonna be using print writer. I was using stream in the last one as my variable. That's why I got confused. So if we run this right now, uh, we shouldn't have run that because we should close our print writer stream. So we should go print writer dot close. So whenever you're writing text to a file, always make sure you close your stream. Um, it's just good programming practice. So let's run that right now. And we get a hello world. If we run it again now, if I didn't make a mistake, we should have another hello world in that file. Let's reload it. There we go. So we have two hello worlds. As you can see, it's appending it. There's no space in between. We could fix that right here if we just go put a space and if we run it again we should have three hello worlds this one should be separated by a space now so we got hello world no space hello world space hello world and if we keep running this we could put as many hello worlds as we want um, we could also use print ln which is gonna put it to a new line so the first one when I run it it won't go to the new line but so it'll be hello world again and then if I print another one this one will be on the new line refresh there we go there's a new line for hello world um so let me go over this again I know this is kind of confusing we haven't really used multiple objects all at once before so I could definitely see if you guys get confused so first thing we did we created our file object just to um basically create our file in our desktop environment then the next thing we did is we made a file writer object. Now this file writer object takes the parameter of the file we created and basically allows us to append to that file by um, creating a boolean that says, yes, I would like to append to this file. If we put false, then we would not be able to append to the file. It's as simple as that. And then the next thing we did, we had to create a buffered writer in order to um, use it as a parameter in our print writer, which essentially the print writer just allowed us to print to our file so if this doesn't make any sense to you guys please feel free to, to ask me questions send me a message um, start commenting below I'm sure there's people that understand it and they'll be able to help you out um, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one